Hello. First, I want to say thank you for doing this on a cruise because this is my first time on a cruise and it's been such a fantastic experience. Yeah. Between all the views, all the food, and uh, it's been really cool. Um, so my question is, you said to a person a couple times ago is that uh, you don't believe you can get what you want. And doing a lot of this work and going through a lot of the different things in books, I've realized like it makes a lot of sense and everything kind of repeats itself up here. And it's really about just getting it. And one thing I've seen in my own life is like it comes down to belief. And belief is just a consistent vibration, isn't it? It's a vibration that's consistent enough that you can chart the effect. A belief is a thought you continue to think. So if you're believing in the direction of your desire, oh, good things are happening. If you're believing against your desire, you're having a rougher ride. A belief is just a practiced thought. Uh huh. And I've noticed like when I'm believing, not only are things happening, but I'm also really enjoying the process. That's because when you believe what your inner being believes, when you know what your inner being knows, there's no resistance. And that is the epitome of good feeling. In other words, you're not pulling against yourself. Isn't that a lovely thing to know about your guidance system? That the better you feel, the more in sync you are with who you are. And going right back to the first thing we said to all of you, when you join forces with that point of attraction, you got something big going on. That's why you get speed and effectiveness and pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess my question would be is how do we continue to strengthen our belief or I guess have less well would you say that it really would serve you if you believed what your inner being believes if you know what your inner being knows wouldn't you say that that would what would serve you the most in terms of pleasure and in terms of effectiveness and in terms of everything all success if when you're connected to your inner being it feels so good then wouldn't feeling good be your dominant quest yeah yeah it's fun it's funny because it's like you look at it and it's like it it's just a different kind of thought to be like, is it really this simple? But it all comes back to feeling good. And as soon as I feel like I get knocked off of momentum, I'm letting thoughts come back in that don't make me feel good or questioning things instead of just sticking to, yeah. to the belief in what really feels good and thoughts that make me happy. You understand it completely. Every word you speak is right on target. We want to chew with you just a little bit for the benefit of the conversations that we're weaving together here because you're right there and it will be easy and fun to do with you. So we want to get right to the heart because you have pinpointed and articulated perfectly what it takes to find alignment, keep alignment and live happily ever after. Every word you spoke was about that. And we like to use the term success because from our knowledge point, what true success is, is happy. And everything else that you call success follows from that. So we're right back to guidance system again, aren't we? In our earlier conversation, we were asking you to say, because I want to, because I want to, because I want it, because I want it. And while you were playing along with us, it was upending some beliefs that you've been thinking for a while because it activates a sort of selfishness that you're not so sure is appropriate. So that's why we keep coming back to if you're not selfish enough to join forces, as you might say, with your inner being, then you don't have anything to offer anyone else anyway. But we don't want to justify your alignment. We want you to want it because you want it. And we want you to want it because you feel the power of it and because you know the value of it. So we're just going to offer some sentences to sort of clean that up for so many who were having a little bit of trouble with that. Why do you wish happiness for all? Because I want it. How do you know you want it? Because it feels good when I wish it. How do you know you wish clarity for all? Because it feels good when I have it. 
and I think it would feel good when they have it does it feel good if you say I want all of the money in the world for myself and someone says why do you want it and you say because I want it does that feel good does it feel good if you say I want to know my power and I want to think everyone else is powerless does that feel good it's not just about the words you're saying is it it's about the vibrational stance from which you say it in other words when you stand and proclaim I want it because I want it we want to have already established that you're under the influence of source when you are establishing these things that you want I want to be a mass murderer <laughs> how do you know that you want that because it feels good when I think about it no because it feels better than the deprivation of love that I felt my whole life oh so it feels like revenge it feels revengeful and revenge feels better than complete disempowerment and fear and despair but is that the kind of I want it because I want it that we're reaching for here we just want to set your minds at ease that when you are tuned into who you really are and you are in pretty steady vibrational alignment with your inner being and the love and beingness of your inner being that then as you feel for the feeling of that alignment it will always take you to what you're looking for every single time sometimes people really believe that it takes rules and laws and enforcement of rules and laws in order to create an environment where people can live happily ever after what we want to say instead is it takes understanding of what happy is and practice of what it feels like when you are there and then a willingness to guide your thoughts into vibrational accordance with that so it isn't about the subject of manifestation it isn't it's the way you feel when you think about it so we just wanted to lay a little groundwork there do you feel satisfied with this or do you want to take it further we can take it further. Um. May we ask you a question? Yes. Does good really feel good? Isn't that just the most important knowing that one could have? Is that true love, true alignment, true eternalness, true source, true me, true beingness? is delicious and if it doesn't feel really good then it's off a little bit then I'm under some other sort of influence doesn't that sort of say it all 100 percent yeah and I think uh, sometimes I've had almost like a, a battle between what I know feels really good and then like a thought system of like what I think that I want or maybe that I think and you know why that is because part of what most of you have allowed yourself to decide feels good is the response that you've got from other people and so if someone's holding you as their object of attention and they're tuned into that source energy then as they are acknowledging you and it feels good you associate this good feeling with their approval or their appreciation of you but then it's not easy to sort out under what influence is someone while they are beholding you that's why we're just wanting to give everyone a sort of solid basis to stand on because people have trained you and you have trained others to care about what they think but everyone doesn't always take the time to acknowledge where's that person coming from when they're thinking what they're thinking about me is that person under the influence of their source because if that person is under the influence of their source what they're thinking about me and what my inner being is thinking about me and what their inner being is thinking about me is all the same thing and oh the power of influence is mighty and there's a very high probability that I'm going to be uplifted by this but I have practiced before I came to that moment knowing what feels good and what doesn't feel good this is what we're asking of all of you show yourself which thoughts of yours are really under the influence of source and which are not show yourself when you are feeling jealous and when you are feeling empowered show yourself when you are in a moment of uplifting another person or in a moment of uplifting yourself and in a moment when something else is going on otherwise you can't sort out anything that's happening and once you've got that then you'll stand steady in every moment 
and when you're standing steady in every moment you will never be standing in a moment of condemnation of another even when your awareness is that they're not under the influence of source they're not under the influence of source but that doesn't take you out from the influence of source it makes you understand the difference between being under the influence of source and being under the influence of something else you see we just wanted to have that conversation with you because we can feel the steadiness of your being and we want to acknowledge that you a lot of you you know where you stand and you do it on purpose and it's logical that you would sometimes wonder about things because there's a lot coming at you but you are at the place where you're all right with whatever is coming at you you don't need to become unstable when you are approached by an unstable friend you just don't need to become unstable and that doesn't mean that you need to stabilize them either you just don't need to become unstable when there are unstable seeming things around because your stability isn't coming from manifestations your stability is coming from your root vibration and so when you know how to get back to that root vibration then you can even come to enjoy the forward motion of witnessing something that appears to be unstable because that's the question to which a satisfying answer is going to come that's the problem to which a satisfying solution will come so then you reach this place where you say and really mean it's all good and people will say why did you get mixed up with that and you say because I wanted to why did you get involved in some problem you can't solve wanted to how do you maintain your stability in the midst of all of that wanted to that was perfect yeah thank you yeah yeah oh you're all so good and so full of yourselves can you feel that everything is pretty much resolved within you can you are you still yearning for something something unfinished where have you been <laughs>